Welcome back to the show. Great to have you here. Looking forward to diving right into our Wellness and Weight Loss Wednesday show. I love being able to try to introduce you to either new concepts or take these concepts to a much deeper level. And for the very first time this year, I saw the topic of detoxification really start to trend. Like it's becoming a much bigger thing than when we were talking about it 10 years ago, whatever it might be inside of functional medicine. And I think that can be a very good thing. And it is a good thing, except of course that I think that uh, marketers and all sorts of companies try to come up with their own detox or whatever it is. And I want to explain to you that there's only one type of detox. Like there's only one type of functional medicine detox, which is a liver detoxification process. So I want to break that down for you today so that you know, so that you're just, again, educated in the process of, oh, they're saying this is a detox. That's not a detox. You know, that's, that's just their name for it, right? So like, I want to give you exactly uh, what you need to know about it, but also why it's so powerful. So if it didn't work, well, people wouldn't be doing it. Other companies wouldn't be trying to, you know, rip off this type of functional medicine-based information. Um, so even though they're doing it incorrectly, they know that it works, right? They're trying to, they're trying to uh, tap into that as well. So here's the thing, though. One thing that I learned, and I never thought that I would get into uh, functional medicine liver detoxification processes, but when I started using them for very specific individuals in my practice, and the FDA precludes me from saying who they were now, uh, but if you watch my old videos, you, you definitely saw. Um, what I w- these are the these are the worst of the worst people, meaning the people that are in the the worst shape, not not in terms of physical fitness, but in terms of health. And so I said. And this is what I this is what I looked at. So again, my mentor, Dr. Pete, told me many years ago um, they have to look at the foundations, you know. And so that's really what I did. Like she she was I had already been reading about Ayurveda, but I didn't get it. I didn't grasp it. I didn't understand it for really what it was. So what she helped me to do is understand Ayurveda from a modern day perspective as well. And then when I went on my internships and I studied bioregulatory medicine. And I studied orthomolecular medicine and functional medicine, naturopathic medicine, and then I was doing Ayurveda and TCM, I was like, oh, I get it. Like, from my scientific perspective, this is what they were talking about. I totally understand it. And actually, they like knew this 6,000 years ago. So we have to understand is when our bodies can't lose the weight, okay, or we lose it, but it's so hard to lose it, so hard to maintain it, there is a reason why. When our bodies are not healthy and everything just seems to be wrong, brain fog, low mood, wrinkles in the skin, sagging skin, tired all the time, no endurance, no libido, no strength, don't want to go to the gym and exercise, like when everything is just kind of like, it's just, oh, it's all too much, there's a reason why, right? When we start to just age much faster than we feel we should be, there's a reason why. And you have to understand is the the body is just overwhelmed, it's just overwhelmed. And you're now cutting its calories or over exercising and try to lose weight. It's saying, well, I'm already overwhelmed. I'm already in a survival based state. I'm already filled with toxins. My rain barrel is overflowing. And you're asking me now to do this with less calories? So, that again, like you have to understand is your body knows best. It does. It knows what it needs to do to survive. And you might not like the results because you're ending up with all these different feelings of inflammation, but it's trying to clean house. Inflammation is most likely caused by some type of immune-based reaction. So you're inflamed. Well, why is your immune system overreactive? Do we need pregnisone and everything else to shut it down? No, no, we don't. We actually have to look at the underlying root causes of why it's there in the first place. What overflowed your rain barrel? If you haven't read The Rain Barrel Effect, I implore you to check out that book. Again, all profits are donated to charity. It explains the entire process from how you got to where you are right now, what what were the 10 uh, most common things that led there, how to reduce and empty that rain barrel. If you want to just go and assess yourself as to kind of how overloaded the body might be, free assessment. I don't even ask for your email. You can just go to stephencabral.com forward slash assessments take that total toxic load quiz, all right? But let's get down into it. So if your body's overwhelmed, it's dealing with 
internal and external estrogens. It's dealing with plastics. It's dealing with pesticides. It's dealing with EMFs. It's dealing with dental amalgams and inflammation in the gums. And it's dealing with food sensitivities. Remember, it's overwhelmed, okay? So there's two ways to get well. It's replacing what your body's missing, right? If we're taking this down to foundational first principles, replacing what you're missing. What are you missing? Omega-3s? Amino acids? Uh, well, like, what is it? Vitamins? Minerals? You're missing something. Your body's missing. The only way to truly know is to test. The starter kit tells you all the vitamins and minerals where you're at right now. The omega-3 test tells you omega-3s. The hormones, like, I would run the big five if possible. If not, I'd run the starter kit. You can find those at Equi.life. It's up to you. Again, totally up to you. It's your option. But just know that they're there. You want to replace your deficiencies, okay? If you're not going to run the labs, I would say then just follow the uh, daily protocol level level two, okay? So that's that. Now, you have toxicities, though. What are your toxicities? Well, again, we don't know unless you test. Heavy metals, uh, internal, external uh, estrogens, like all of these different things, right? There's so many different things. So there's that. There's toxicities. Well, in order to bring that body back to a state of vibrant health, not just good health, but vibrancy, the kind of vibrancy where you want to actually wake up in the morning and start your day and live life, well, here's what we want to do. We want to remove those toxicities and we want to replace the deficiencies. That's what we want to do. I mean, does it sound simple? Yes. Is it a little bit more complicated than that? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. It really doesn't. You just have to follow the systems. So why then... In our private practice and many practices around the world, do we recommend most people start with a 21-day functional medicine detox? Here's why. You get to hit the reset button. You are doing a whole body reset. I'm going to share with you why. Because by following one process, it enables you to basically take this sponge that's saturated and squeegee it out, just wring it out. That is what a functional medicine detox is helping you to do. So if we are looking to start clean, that's the way to do it. Remember, it is difficult to put more in the body and get it to work if the cup or the barrel is already flowing. Empty the rain barrel, start fresh. That is what it's about. The 21-day detox, if you've never done a functional medicine detox, is the place to start. Here is why. Rebalancing hormones. If your estrogen levels are high or even normal, but progesterone levels are low, there can be a reason why. Inflammation and body fat, adipose tissue swelling is one of those big reasons. Rebalancing healthy levels of hormones is a critical part and critical, uh, I would say, key to the overall equation. The second one is food sensitivities. You don't know what you don't know. That's what we always say, right? I just ran my daughter's food sensitivities. I do it once a year with them. We want to know, hey, we show them the results. Like, listen, they get to participate in their own health. What are you sensitive to? Okay. So a couple of random ones showed up. My daughter, banana showed up. Um, on one of them, egg showed up. On another one of them, let's see if I can think of one of the more random ones, hazelnuts showed up. Okay. So nothing major, but we said, okay, here's the nice thing. You get to eat all these other foods and these foods aren't bad for you. Banana's not bad for you. These hazelnuts aren't bad for you. They just for you and cause a little bit of a sensitivity. What's a sensitivity? Well, maybe sometimes you feel a little bit more cranky, right? A little bit, um, the mood's not the best. Your energy might not be as strong. And they understand that. And they get to participate in their health. It doesn't scare them, but they actually get to do these things now. They're educated on it. Say, hey, what can we do instead of banana? What other fruits do you like? We talk about that. And instead of hazelnuts, you know, and again, they're not eating hazelnuts that much. That so was an easy one. So again, you get to empower yourself. But a functional medicine detox is going to come with a diet guide that eliminates the most common food sensitivities as well. Rebalancing healthy levels of cortisol is crucial because if your cortisol is low in the morning, you're not going to have any get up and go. And if it's elevated in the evening, you're not going to be able to fall asleep or unwind. You're also not going to be enough, be able to produce enough of that melatonin, which is so powerful in helping to stave off cancer, so powerful for Alzheimer's, dementia, all these other um, health-based issues that can come along with improper diphasic rhythms. That means being up during the day and asleep at night during the dark 
hours. So, so crucial. Getting your REM sleep and your deep sleep. Another one is blood sugar regulation. We want to help with healthy levels of blood sugar. If your blood sugar is up and down during the day, well, your energy is going to be up and down during the day. Your mood is going to be up and down during the day. And chronically elevated blood sugar can lead to insulin um, insensitivity or cellular insensitivity. And what's going to happen is this. Blood sugar levels stay elevated, can't get the sugar inside the cell, the body begins to gain more weight, uh, it becomes carb uh, incense, or it becomes um, carb intolerant, and now you have such a limited diet as well. So we need to begin to rebalance the sensitivity of the cells to be able to actually process carbohydrates as fuel, which your body was meant to be able to do. The next one is inflammation. We want to balance healthy levels of inflammation in the body because we know that 90% of all dis-ease of the body is related to inflammation. The problem is inflammation is not a disease. Inflammation is not a root cause. There are root causes that cause inflammation. Check out my podcast on that. Inflammation is not a disease. Inflammation is not a root cause. If you are trying to constantly squelch the inflammation, you're looking at the wrong bad guy. Inflammation is a natural process of the body that is to help your body to repair. So you have to ask yourself, why is the body always in need of such great repair? Now, am I saying that you can't use certain anti-inflammatory foods, et cetera? No, not at all. I believe that you should be on an anti-inflammatory nutrition plan. But if you're loading up with massive amounts of turmeric every single day, ask yourself, why? You know, you just ask yourself, why? What's going on that I need this much turmeric in order for my joints not to hurt? Because there's an underlying root cause. There's a root cause of why the inflammation is present in the body. During a functional medicine detox, you're also going to learn about meal timing. All of these people that just say, oh, well, I eat when I'm hungry. Well, that's not necessarily the best way to go about it. Your body needs fuel. I talked about that last week with extended fast, really backfiring on a lot of people. You have to understand is that your body needs fuel. It's good to space out the meals and not eat them too close together. Allow blood sugar to rise gently, not too high, and then naturally fall before that next meal. About three meals per day on average is right for most people, right? So teaching that, going through that process is vitally, vitally important. Um, and many people can get a boost from a little afternoon pick-me-up if it's not too much between lunch and dinner. Easy to digest. Now, the last one is this. During a functional medicine detox, although it's not exactly stated in the liver detox, is you need to be giving yourself a time of rest, now, in general, whether you're on a functional medicine detox or not, think about this. Every athlete is given a periodization model. So back in the day, I worked as a certified strength and conditioning specialist, a CSCS through the NSCA, National Sports and Conditioning Association. Worked with a lot of athletes, all sorts of different people. Amazing. Loved it. Worked with um, Olympic athletes, worked with world champions. Um, loved it again. But here's the issue. All of the programs that we created, and I worked on a lot of the nutrition and some of the training as well, that there is a, 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 a periodization model is this. You start slower, you gradually build up, and you peak at a certain week. And then before competition, you start to taper off a little bit a couple weeks before. Now, everyone's workout, though, should have a periodization model. Let's say you're on a program for four to six weeks. You peak out between the fourth and the sixth week. Then after that, you have what's called an unloading week. What is that? Well, you're still moving your body. You're still exercising, but it's essentially a week of rest. It's a lighter week. A lot of people, they might do um, two six-week programs or three four-week programs, and then every 12 weeks take a week off. But you have to understand this. The body needs rest in order to repair. So if you're getting five, six hours a night of sleep, not enough time to rest and repair. Are you okay in the short term? Yes. Your body can pretty much do anything in the short term, but over the long term, it spells disaster. And I talked about that yesterday uh, on the show about what happens with alcohol consumption over the years and how it decreases life expectancy. So if you didn't check that out, definitely check out that show as well. That was 1803, I believe. Uh, so here's the, here's the interesting thing, though. How can one protocol that lasts 21 days, and you can do it seven days, then every 12 weeks, how does that work to accomplish all of these things? It happens through a process of specifically timed intermittent fasting that allows for autophagy, which is cellular cleanup, and it's done through a specific set of nutrients. Now, I'm going to link up my previous podcast on 
how to complete a functional medicine detox. So again, all these podcasts are free. I even created a, about an hour course for you as well. And that's at equa.life forward slash detox dash course. Equa.life forward slash detox dash course. We'll link it up today at stephencabral.com forward slash 1804. Now, the reason why this works so well is that you are giving your liver which is the main organ for detoxification in your body. Yes, your lungs work. Yes, your kidneys work. Yes, your skin works. But the liver does the most. And if the liver's not doing its job, what happens is the kidneys are forced to work harder. The, um, your blood stats for kidney, like BUN, BUN, start to get a little bit off. Your body starts to break down a little bit more. It's not where it should be in terms of inflammation. So yes, sauna. Yes, sweat. Yes, get enough fluids in. Yes, exercise. All those things matter. But the main issue is that we are bombarded through our skin, through environmental toxins, and through our mouth, through certain foods that we put in that create uh, chemical reactions inside of the body. And we need to be able to clean that up. Now, is your liver already capable of doing that? 100%. The problem is your liver, your liver was never meant to deal with over 77,000 man-made chemicals. Now we're saying it's even over 140,000, but let's put it this way. 77,000, 100,000, it's a lot of man-made chemicals. Your liver was never equipped for these synthetic chemicals. So it's working on overdrive. And the reason why we know that it's not working and isn't able to get everything all the time is because any human in the world can run an environmental toxicity test. And again, you can, you can find those over at equi.life or with your local uh, integrative health practitioner or a naturopathic doctor or a functional medicine doctor. Again, you can find these. So here's the thing. It's in the fat cells of the body. When you're burning body fat, these toxins are coming out. It's, it's just crucial to know that your body, your liver is always working, but it's not able to get everything. And that is why supplying it with specific nutrients, phase one nutrients and phase two nutrients are of the utmost importance. And when I started doing this with the worst of the worst, they started to get better at a much faster clip. And then when I introduced these same functional medicine detoxes with moderately unhealthy people and even healthy people, I saw the dramatic results that led to as well. Why? Because when you begin to hit that reset button, when you begin to rebalance all the things that I just spoke about, cortisol and, and hormones uh, and sleep and inflammation and blood sugar, amazing things happen within the body. The body begins to heal itself. Now remember, the greatest integrative health practitioners, naturopathic doctors, functional medicine doctors, they don't heal your body. Your body heals itself. The job of your doctor, your health coach, whatever it might be, is to put your position, put your body in position to heal. That is what it's supposed to do. So with a functional medicine detox, it supplies you with all the methylated B vitamins, the vitamin C, uh, the fiber, it gives you uh, the amino acids, it's giving you the glutathione, it's giving you the selenium, the zinc, those specific minerals, it's giving you the taurine, the N-acetylcysteine, the sulforaphane. You don't need to know what any of this means. But this is what your liver uses. This is the speak of your liver. That's how your liver works. It uses these vitamins uh, and some minerals over here. That's phase one. It uses antioxidants in that intermediary step. And then in phase two, it uses sulfur-based amino acids. Again, you don't need to know any of this. But it's what your liver needs. And it's not getting enough of it on a daily basis. Now, it's okay. What we say is do a 21-day if you've never done one before. Then every, every 12 weeks to a seven day. It doesn't, you don't need to change your life while doing this. You don't need to run to the toilet, run to the bathroom. You can just go about your business, have a normal week, giving your body the nutrients that it needs with those two specific days in the beginning of the greater autophagy taking place. Now, one thing to warn you about is this. A lot of companies I talked about out there, they understand, wow, this is really popular because it's working. So they're coming out with their green juice blends and this blend and these teas. I don't have a big issue. Like we have something called our daily um, fruit and vegetable blend, 22 organic fruits, vegetables, and superfoods. There's no way you could eat all that in a day. There's just no way. And that's why it's so powerful. And so many people love it. Most powerful greens product on the market. There's no doubt about that. I mean, without a doubt for $2 a day, you get 22 organic fruits, vegetables, and superfoods. Nothing touches it. But is that a detox? No. And I'm honest with you. It's not. Does it give a lot of your liver nutrients? Sure. It's not a functional medicine detox. 
I'm always going to be honest with you. A lot of companies would love you to believe that their greens powders and all these things are detoxes. They're not. They're not. Very nutritious for the body, but they are not a detox. So I don't want to confuse the two. How about um, dandelion tea or cilantro tea? Or all these teas. Yeah, great. They're fantastic and they do help and they're nice blood cleansers. Are they a functional medicine detox? Not even close. They're not giving your body the nutrients that it needs in order to be able to go through phase one, intermediary step, phase two detoxification, which takes these really harmful environmental fat soluble toxins and turns them into a harmless water soluble toxin that you can uh, urinate out. Uh, for it to come out in your bowel movements, for you to sweat out or even huff a little bit out through your lungs. So that is the big difference. I just don't want you to fall for um, the marketing of a lot of these companies saying, hey, do our sugar detox, do this detox. They're not detoxes. They're elimination diets or they're whatever it might be. And, and again, they're cleanses. Like, that's fine. All of that is good. I have no issues with that whatsoever. But if you're really looking to take your results to the next level, look for a company that is providing a true functional medicine liver detox, which means they don't cut any corners, price is not an issue when you're creating it, and they're able to give you exactly what your body needs. I mean, it's game-changing. That's, that's all that I can say. When I started doing those, now almost a decade ago, my health went from very good to excellent. And I believe it is one of the reasons why I feel better and better every single year. So much so that I even do that one day each Monday um, as that one day reset diet. And if you've never heard about that before, um, you can check that out as well. Nowhere near as good as a seven day uh, functional medicine detox, right? And if you've never done one before, the 21 day is the place to start if you can. If you can't, just do the seven day. So, but it's still beneficial. We'll try to link that up for you today as well at uh, stephencabral.com forward slash 1804. I am going to give you the functional medicine uh, detox link that I use in my practice. I want to let you know that you do not need to use this one. You can use the one that you and your practitioner or health coach or integrative health practitioner feel are best for you. I want to give you though the exactly what I do in my practice. I know that it works so much so that I guarantee that it works. I mean, that's the thing is like, I don't know very much, very many companies that are willing to say, listen, if it didn't work for you, just send it back. But I don't want this to be a promotion. I want to promote functional medicine detoxes. They are the game changer in this industry. They make your digestive protocol work better. They make your female or male hormones protocol work better. They're going to make your weight loss program work better. They're going to make all of those things better because you are truly emptying the rain barrel because it is your liver that is doing the most amount of detoxification. So to see exactly what we use, go to equa.life forward slash detox, E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash detox. You can see exactly what we can do. If it's a great fit for you, then fantastic. If you're already recommended one from another functional medicine company and make sure it's a functional medicine company, not a like... Not, not an Amazon company or anything like that. Again, I have no issues with that, but I just want to make sure that it's functional medicine based, that it's one of the big companies that practitioners use because again, it's quality assured that they're testing it for purity. They're using those methylated vitamins. They're getting you the right amounts of sulforaphane and all the nutrients that your body needs. And if they're doing that, then great. But you can see what we use and then you can always compare. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, I just truly believe that this is the game changer that not enough people are doing. I just, I know that it's becoming more popular. And if you're a practitioner listening to this, guide your patients or clients towards a functional medicine detox, any brand that you recommend that you trust, because it is going to get them better results in any protocol that they're doing. So thank you so much. And as always, if the information was helpful, please do feel free to share it with anyone else you believe it could serve. 